So we've dealt with finding the concentration of H plus in an acid and the concentration of OH minus in a base. That's because acids are associated with H pluses and bases are associated with OH minuses. As I mentioned in section 7.3, we can also talk about finding the concentration of OH minus in an acid because of the way that water dissociates. Water, since it can act as both an acid and a base, will dissociate into some H plus and some OH minus. So we can use the KW equation in that concentration of H plus times concentration of OH minus equals 1 times 10 to the minus 14. That allows us to find the concentration of the other ion. So we're going to recycle the first three examples in order to do that. In example one, I had asked for the hydrogen ion concentration, the H+. Plus. In example four now, I'm asking for the hydroxide ion concentration. To do that, since we're dealing with an acid, we can find, or we did find, the concentration of H+. Plus. It was 0 0.050 molar. So if we take the KW equation, concentration H plus times concentration OH minus equals 1.0 times 10 to the minus 14. And we substitute in the value of H plus that we know. All that's left is a bit of math. Divide by 0 0.050, and we can find the concentration of OH minus. Put that into the calculator, and if we go to sig figs, which would be 2, we get 2.0 times 10 to the minus 13 molar. Now what you're going to notice is that while the hydrogen ion concentration is small, 0 0.050 molar is not, is not that big, it's pretty small, the concentration of OH- minus is significantly smaller than that. When we have an acid, we will have a relatively high concentration of H+, plus and an extremely low concentration of OH-. Minus. Vice versa, when we have a base, will have a higher concentration of OH- and a lower concentration of H+.